In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a subscription system inside your Discord server with a platform called WAP. Now you might be aware that Discord does have a built-in subscription system, but there's a lot of reasons I would recommend using WAP over Discord's built-in system. One of the main ones is the revenue split. Discord has a 90-10 revenue split, meaning they take 10% of all of your revenue that you generate. On WAP, all there is is a 3% fee. Both of these platforms do integrate with Stripe, so there is also a Stripe payment fee of around 2.9% plus 30 cent for every transaction. So when you add that onto Discord's 10%, you're running about 13% in loss of revenue just for using their system. Secondly, Discord's built-in system is really limited on regions. If you live outside of the United States, then you are not able to utilize this feature whatsoever. The feature is only available in the US right now, and it's been like that since they launched the feature. They said they were going to branch out and make it more available, but that has still not happened yet. Versus WAP, it's available worldwide, so you don't have to worry about being locked out because of where you live. And then thirdly, if a user was to subscribe to your Discord server subscription on mobile, they're gonna get hit with a 30% upcharge for Discord to be able to cover the App Store fees on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. This 30% doesn't go to you, it goes straight to Discord to be able to cover App Store fees. So it's definitely a big downside that your customer has to be hit with that 30% fee if the only way they can subscribe is on their mobile device. So let's dive into getting this set up. Firstly, make sure you do have a Discord server at least set up already once at the end of the video we'll come in and actually set up the roles and everything to be able to coexist with the WAP store but first we're going to dive into actually setting up the WAP store at the top of the description and also in the pinned comment you will find my affiliate link where you can enter that in and it'll take you directly to be able to start setting up a new WAP store. You're gonna click create new organization and continue, and then you're going to give the WAP a name. Once you've got the name of your WAP put in, you can click continue, then it's gonna prompt you to actually put in a little bit about your store, a small sentence of what your actual WAP does and what it helps people do. So for example, for me, teaching how to set up a WAP. We're gonna click continue. After you do that, it's going to create your WAP and you will be ready to start setting it up. So let's go ahead and start diving into this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're, I'm gonna focus in this video on integrating it with Discord. WAP does offer a lot of other features that you can be able to sell, like you can host your own course on WAP, you can sell gate pay, paywall gated access to files and links and external websites. There's a lot more you can do if you want to look into that. But for this video, I'm going to focus solely on integrating with Discord. Hey, so this is me post recording. I wanted to cut in to just go over this part real quick there was a slight change since i recorded this video a few days ago instead of i'm going to show you how to add the discord app to your wap instead of it being up here at the top they simply just moved it over here to the left side so whenever i'm up here at the top looking through the different apps on the wap store and setting them up instead of clicking add app up here at the top you're going to want to click this little square button right here and then you can come over here and click new app and add your apps from there sorry for the interruption they literally just made this change after i recorded this so i just wanted to cut in and show you so you're not confused so what we're going to do is once we're on our main page we're going to click up here on the top left where it says add or edit apps and all we're going to do is click new app and then we are going to search for discord so just type in discord should pop up here click on it You'll get greeted with a pop-up of adding chat. We're just gonna click continue with Discord. And the next is gonna ask us, do we want it to be visible on our WAP? We do want it to be visible. So we're gonna click add. And now we have our Discord app added to our WAP store. So this is one of the perks people will get when they purchase our WAP. Now we need to integrate this with our actual server. So what we're gonna do is click the little settings button up here at the top, click on app settings. And then at the top, you'll have details and configure. We're gonna click on configure. Once it loads, this is where you will be able to connect your Discord server. So we're gonna click connect Discord. And what this is going to do is add the WAP bot into your Discord server. So search your Discord server, click continue, authorize the bot to be entered into your server and verify that you are a human if you are prompted with that. And then if we look, the bot will be added into our Discord server now. So now what we need to do is actually drag the WAP bot role in our Discord server to the very top. This way the bot can actually be able to give out roles to people that subscribe. So let's click server settings. Let's go to roles. I already have my VIP roles created, but down here, the WAP bot role, we're just gonna drag this all the way up to the top of the server. 
This way the bot can actually give out because if you aren't aware, Discord bots cannot give out a role, any roles that are underneath their role. Even if they have administrator permissions, if the WAP bot is underneath these VIP roles here, it's not gonna be able to give out those VIP roles. So we're gonna actually drag this all the way up to the top and then save our changes. If you don't already have a role created, go ahead and create a VIP role or whatever you want to call the role that users will receive whenever they pay on WAP. For me, I have the VIP member role. Now that that's set up and the bot role is dragged to the top, all we're gonna do is click refetch roles over here on WAP on the left side. And now we will see all of the roles that we are able to give out. So we are going to give out the VIP member role and that's all we have to do. We click add role. If you want to give out more than one role, you can do that here. I'm only gonna give out the VIP member role for this. So now we've got that set up, we can put Discord to the side for just a moment and we can come back into WAP on our overview page. What we're gonna do next is set up the pricing. So what are we actually going to charge people to be able to purchase this? So on the right side, we have our manage pricing tab. We can click manage pricing and then at the very bottom, we can create a pricing option. You have the option to do free or paid. We will set up a free side to this. I'll show you that in just a moment. But for now, we're going to set up the paid access part. So we're gonna click paid and click continue. We want it to be a subscription. If you want it to be a single payment, you have the option for that. We want ours to be a subscription continue and now we can actually set up the pricing on it so let's say i want to charge people 50 dollars per month so we enter in 50 dollars. we have our subscription period here you have a few preset options you can select from and then you also can enter an actual custom amount of days we're going to just go with one month so we have 50 dollars for one month access if you want to add a free trial you have the ability to do that you can click that you can add in a three day free trial, seven day free trial, whatever you want. That way a user can go ahead and get that paid access and they won't actually be charged until their free trial is over. The only other real important thing here at the very bottom, if you want to allow users to pay with PayPal, you can toggle that on and users will be able to not only pay with credit and debit cards, but also their PayPal account. After you've got that set up, you click continue and then that will add your new pricing option to your WAP store. Now this process is the same exact thing. If you wanted to add multiple different pricing options, instead of just a $50 a month, if you wanted to add a three month, a six month and a one year, you can do all of that under the manage pricing tab and then create pricing option down here at the bottom. So as far as actually setting it up and integrating it with Discord, that's mostly all you need to do. The rest of this is just purely cosmetic stuff. So you can upload media to add a lot of graphics and banners up here at the top. You can add some details about your WAP store. You can add in some details about yourself, a little bio about yourself. You can add in a lot of extra customization stuff. You can also do this on the manage WAP tab over here on the right. You can add a photo for your WAP store. You can edit the description. You can edit your URL for your WAP store page. You can edit all of that stuff here on the manage WAP tab as well. So we've got that set up. I wanna to touch on one more thing because a lot of people asked this on my last video after WAP changed over to 4.0 in December. So let's talk about if you, we also want to set up a free option. So you don't wanna just come in and add in a pricing option that's free because what that's going to do is give people this VIP role that's associated with this Discord product already. So what we're gonna to have to do is come over to our dashboard here on the left side of the screen. And then what we're going to do is actually create a new WAP that is a part of this organization. So we're gonna click new WAP right here. It's going to take us to the same screen that we did at the start of the video, but this time you should have a WAP already set up here. And instead of clicking create new organization, you're going to select that WAP. So let me find my 2025 tutorial WAP that we just set up. So right here, this is my this is the WAP that we just set up. So we're gonna make sure that we click that because we're gonna add this WAP into our actual organization here. And then we're gonna go through the same process, but this time we're just going to list it as a free option. So we got gestures 2025 tutorial free. We're gonna click continue. We're also going to set up another headline here. And then we're gonna click continue and that is going to build us a second WAP. So now we have two actual WAPs that are a part of one actual company or organization. So this is where we're going to set up the free part of the Discord. So we're gonna click add or edit apps just the way we did last time. Make sure you don't click link existing app. We're gonna click new app and we're going to again add Discord. This process is exactly the same. We're gonna click the settings button up here. We're gonna click app settings, go to the configure tab. It should already have your server synced up. 
this time, instead of selecting the VIP member role, we're going to select just the member role. This will be the free role that users get if they just click the free option. And then we're going to go out to the main screen on the overview page again. Now we're gonna to go to the manage pricing. We're going to create a new pricing option. This time, instead of doing paid, we're going to do free. Click continue. Instant access is what we're gonna to want to give them. Click continue and then we will create the free pricing option. So now if we scroll down here to the bottom, we can see our two different WAP stores. So here is the $50 a month. This will actually give them, if we come up here and check, we can see that this is going to give users the VIP member role. And then if we come down here and click the um, free option here, or sorry, we click the free option, we come to check Discord, we will see that we're only getting the free member role now. And what you can do is you can click this edit benefits tab and you can type in a few things about the free product and then about your paid product. So just to show you a little something of what that would look like, here we have our free Discord access, here we have our paid Discord access. You will have to set up all your graphics and de product descriptions and creator details and everything again on this free WAP, just a heads up. If you only wanna sell paid access, you don't have to worry about this part but a lot of people were confused on after the 4.0 update how you can actually add in a free version and also a paid version a lot of members were ending up linking the paid role to the free version and it was messing things up for them after you get all that set up the only other important things you want to do on WAP is on your dashboard over here on the left side you're going to want to come to your payouts tab and you want to make sure you go ahead and set up WAP payments Otherwise, members aren't gonna be able to subscribe. After you've got that set up, here on your offers tab, we can see both our free and our paid product. Whenever you're ready to share it, you just copy your WAP link up here and you just share that with members and they'll be able to go and actually subscribe. If you want to see what it looks like from a user perspective, this preview as visitor, you can check this and this is what it will actually look like from a user's perspective. So pretty cool stuff. Now that we've got that set up, lastly, let's just go in in case you aren't aware on how to set up the actual Discord part. Let me show you how to do that quickly. So the easiest way is we're going to set up our permissions by the category. So go ahead and create a category or however many categories you want for your paid members to be able to access. After you create them, we're gonna right click on them. We're gonna edit category, come up to our permissions tab. And all you have to do is for at everyone, turn off the ability for them to view channels add in your vip role and then enable the users to be able the vip members to be able to view channels the reason we set it up by the category is because anytime you create a new it basically future proofs things for you anytime you create a new channel inside that category it'll automatically be set up to where only your paid members will be able to see it you don't actually have to go in and turn that on for every single channel and that's pretty much all there is to it that is how you can set up a WAP store and integrate it with discord to start selling access Access to your Discord server. This is fully automated through the WAP bot. So anytime a user subscribes, they'll connect their Discord account on WAP and that will give them the paid role inside your server. And whenever they cancel their subscription, the bot will automatically remove their role inside the Discord server. So you don't have to worry about keeping up or managing everything and making sure people aren't getting access for free. It's all automated with the bot. After watching this, if you still feel just a little bit confused on how to set this all up and you'd rather just have me do it for you, I do have a Fiverr if you wanna check that down in the description where you can hire me to actually build out your entire Discord server and your WAP store for you. I do wanna give a heads up that later this month, I am moving away from Fiverr into my own private Discord server that I'm gonna be working out of. So whenever that happens, the Fiverr link will change to a Discord link. So just wanted to give a heads up on that in case you don't see a Fiverr link anymore and you just see a Discord link, that is why. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace.